Hey guys, my name is Vasily Periverzev and today we will talk about QML. So, what is the QML? It's a declarative language that allows user interfaces to be described in terms of their visual components and their relations. QML is a highly readable language that was designed to enable components to be connected in a dynamic manner. Also, it allows components to be easily reused and customized within a user interface. Using the Qt Quick module, designers and developers can easily build juicy and animated user interfaces in QML. And also, they have the option of connecting these interfaces to any back-end C++ libraries. But first thing first, let me talk about the main advantages of QML. The first one is declarativeness. QML offers a highly readable declarative JSON-like syntax with support for imperative JavaScript expressions combined with dynamic property bindings. A QML structure looks very similar to a definition of a JSON object. QML objects can be styled. Similarly to CSS and JavaScript code can be inlined to handle assertive aspects. So, if you are in touch with front-end web development, you will grasp QML in no time. So, here you can see how a Hello World example looks like in QML. The second one is customization. QML has huge customization capabilities. You can use ready-made components from Quick Controls module. Or you can customize them. Or you can even fully implement your own. The next one is animation. Compared to static widgets, QML provides a huge scope for animating any properties you can even imagine. The property animation allows values to move through intermediate values, instead of immediately changing to the target value. Performance Qt Quick module makes use of dedicated scene graph that is then traversed and rendered by the graphics API such as OpenGL, Vulkan, Metal or Direct3D. Using a thin graph instead of the traditional imperative systems like QPainter means the theme to be rendered can be retained between frames and the complete set of primitives to render is already known before rendering starts. This opens up for a number of optimizations, such as a batch rendering to minimize state changes and discarding obscured primitives. From the other side, thin graphs allows cute animations to be processed on the separate rendering thread, even when the UI thread is blocked. All these optimizations work by default when using Qt Quick module. By the way, Qt Creator also allows you to evaluate the performance of your QML components using the QML profiler. The last feature I would like to mention is simple integration with C++. QML is designed to be easily extensible through the C++ code. The classes in the Qt QML module enable QML objects to be loaded and manipulated from the C++ and the nature of QML engine's integration with Qt's meta-object system enables C++ functionality to be invoked directly from the QML. This allows the development of hybrid applications which are implemented with a mixture of QML, C++ and JavaScript code. No, it's not! QML uses a huge number of optimizations compared to the classical QWidget system. Uh, I would say it's quite easy to learn, thanks to documentation, thanks to declarativeness and component approach. Uh, of course, it will take some time, but I can assure you that it will be a very exciting process. In order to start debugging QML code, you just need to enable the single checkbox in Qt Creator settings. Thank you for watching, see you later!